Yo, 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 it is so good to see you. Hey, if you're new to this channel, my name is Richard. I'm a high performance coach as well as an entrepreneur. And this is episode number six of the Skyrise series. If you've never watched any of these Skyrise series videos before, I would highly encourage you to pause this video right here because it literally will not make sense if you do not watch the playlist here first. So go click that, that's gonna take you to the playlist of the first five episodes and that's gonna give you a pretty good understanding of what this series is about before you come to this one. Now, the purpose of this episode today and the purpose of the Skyrise series is very simple. As I always say, I would just wanna be able to spend more personal time with you, give you more actionable tips of how do you actually improve your life? How do you become more productive? How do you actually increase performance? And also, I wanna share with you all the mistakes that I've made in my life thus far. So that you can not make these mistakes. I want you ultimately to win. I want you to succeed and I want you to crush your life. Last episode, we talked about how at the end of the summer, between my third and my fourth year, I was interning for Vince. It was an amazing internship. I started learning so much. My YouTube channel had grown from 200 to 10,000 subscribers on YouTube and I knew, wow, there's something here. If I keep working with Vince, I'm gonna keep learning. I'm gonna keep making an impact through his business and I'm also gonna be getting skills in order to grow in my own business. And Joel Marion, one of Vince's his best buddies and my mentor at the time as well he called me up he said Richard you need to drop out because university isn't gonna serve you anymore when you already had this amazing golden opportunity to work as one day the chief of operations for Vince and so I told myself man this is such a hard divide but I knew no I gotta finish what I start and the important thing here is regardless of what it is that you do you have to finish what you started right because truly how you do one thing is how you do everything I didn't want to look back at the rest of my life and know that man I did three years of hard hard work at UCLA which I worked super hard to get into the number one public research university in all the United States only to drop out during my final year. So what did I do? I got resourceful. I called up my academic advisor and I said, hey, I really want to graduate early. Is there any possible way I can graduate as fast as possible? And they told me, well, Richard, currently you're studying biology and you have a minor in entrepreneurship. But it turns out that your normal workload right now is three classes. But if you compress that into five classes, you actually will fulfill your credits and you will be able to graduate. And that blew my mind because I thought to myself, wow, I can actually graduate just three months Months. But I also remember thinking to myself, five classes is a lot. Now to give you some context, at UCLA, the quarter system moves very quickly. And so having three classes, that is a full course load. If you have four classes at UCLA, that is considered very, very intense. It is literally unheard of. It is insane to be taking five classes. I knew deep down in my heart, look, Joel Mayer wants me to drop out, Vince wants me to drop out, and I know deep down in my heart that I have to finish where I start. But if I wanna be an entrepreneur, if my end goal is not to waste time in university and spend a lot of money, another $30,000 on tuition, then I gotta graduate as fast as possible. So you know what I did? I signed up for five classes that year. That fall quarter, my friend, let me tell you, was the most insane, most busy three months I've ever had in my entire life. This is what my schedule looked like. On top of the five classes that I was taking, which is unheard of as a UCLA student, I was working 25 hours a week as now promoted the head of operations of Vince's company. And so I kid you not, between classes, I would be running back and forth on the phone in meetings, hopping on Zoom calls on my computer just to be able to help Vince run this seven figure operation. On top of that, I was training five times a week for 60 to 90 minutes every single day and I made time for my non-negotiables. That meant that every single day I had at least 60 minutes in which I had social time, in which I could spend one hour having dinner with the best buddy of mine. On top of that, I also had a non-negotiable every single Sunday going to church I could not compromise. I would always go to church every single Sunday. And on top of that, every single morning, I would have my non-negotiable Bible study, Bible reading. And this is the crazy thing. For that three month period in my life, in order to make sure I had the time to do all of these things, as well as sleep seven to eight hours every single night, I woke up at 3.35 a.m. in the morning for three months straight. And if you look at this video right here, my video that went viral and now has over two million views, that was 3.35 school morning routine. You can watch that after this video. And that was actually filmed on my last day at UCLA. Because for three months straight, that's literally exactly what I did. Deep down in my heart, I asked myself every day, 
How bad do you want it? How bad do you want to still get straight A's in school? How bad do you want to strive for excellence in your academics, and your fitness, in your business, in your relationship with your mentor Vince? How badly do you want to succeed in all areas of your life? And you might be thinking, man, Richard, you're so intense. Richard, you gotta tone down a little bit. You're too much of a machine. Guess what? This is what it takes to be successful in any area of your life. How bad do you want to be that doctor? How bad do you want to succeed in your business? How badly do you want to get good grades if you're a student? Because let me tell you, I won the badly. Because how you do one thing is how you do everything. And I will not, I say again, I will not compromise in my academics because that means I half-ass everything else in my life. If I half-ass my school, that means my workout goes bad. If I half-ass my school, that means my business goes bad. My relationship with Vince goes bad. All of these things are interconnected. And as soon as I realize I cannot slack off in any one area of my life because it's all elevated, that's where my life changed. The crazy thing about this whole story thus far is, I didn't realize this, but after I graduated from university, I realized I lived a very not normal final three months at UCLA. It is because for the past four years and even in high school, five, six years of my life, I had been developing what I like to call high performance skills, high performance habits. The skill sets of time management, the skill sets of productivity, of having the appropriate mindset to be able to approach tasks without slowing down, but to be able to do them two to three times faster than other people. And I had so many of my peers ask me, Richard, how do you get stuff done so quickly? How do you maintain focus? How do you maintain your discipline and wake up for 90 days straight at 3.35 a.m. in the morning every single day? And I realized actually, man, I could help and change so many lives if I develop a high performance coaching program. I could create an information product, right? A training program, a course in which I could actually coach individuals on how to develop the strategies that I had spent six to seven years learning and testing on myself. And that's why I have the high performance training program. And that's why over the past few weeks, I've been telling you about this program, which hundreds of students have already joined. And so if you'd like to know how I was able to cram 25 hours of work while we're taking five classes, while still working out, while still making time for friends and God, this Saturday I'm hosting the High Performance Masterclass in which I'm gonna be sharing with you three secrets of how to double your productivity while shaving off 12.5 hours of your work week. And look, every week I mention these, but look at all these success stories of the students that have already gone through my program. We have students who've saved 10, 12, 15, even over 20 hours a week. Imagine right now, if you're procrastinating, if you're struggling with a video game addiction or just bad habits, how much your life would change if you could get more done than you currently are right now in less time. And so if you'd like to attend this, this Saturday I'm hosting that free masterclass. All you need to do is click that first link in the description, type your name and your email to register, and then make sure you show up because so many people sign up for something and then they don't show up. And just to motivate and serve you even more, I'm gonna over deliver for you. This Saturday I'm actually gonna be giving you my personal planner. This is the high performance planner. This costs thousands of dollars of me attending different business workshops and learning from other high performance entrepreneurs in order to learn. This essentially is exactly how to map out your day from when you wake up to when you sleep every minute to make sure you maximize it. And then I'm also going to be giving you my personal schedule. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I'm giving this to you for free if you show up. But this is my exact schedule of how I plan out my day from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. And I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to do that for your schedule as well. So if you'd like a free copy of this, all you need to do is show up to this Saturday's masterclass and I cannot wait to see you there. And I cannot wait to see you in the next video as well. So until next time, stay sharp, stay focused, and go crush it.